all of a sudden light bulb goes off instantly. No, a light bulb may go off, but not all the light bulbs. There's a lot of light bulbs up here. You just can't <laughs> see them. It's not all right. <laughs> so, you know, it, he didn't quite understand. So I appreciated what he was trying to try to do, but he didn't quite understand that if I, I can't teach you A for B and then you go out and try it. Because as I said in our other video, once you do the paperwork, now the game has started. All you do is put the board, the pieces on the board, and that's it. That's what A for B is. Now we got to start moving. And that's, that's the rest of the game. A for B is just the beginning. You haven't even started the game yet. You just put the pieces on the board. Like, that's it. It's like, it's like getting a girlfriend. It's only once you start dating her, then the competition begins with all the other guys. It's like, yeah. that's only the beginning of the contest, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's only the beginning and people are like oh i got a for b now it you know it's it's my one tool it's my a for b I'm so crazy take over the world yeah. i'm sorry it doesn't work like that because you don't quite understand and so what you want to learn and what you need to learn are two different things yeah 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 yeah, yeah. oh wow uh, so uh are you still working with the uh the other trustees at the moment or yeah right yeah same trustees um actually I'm also helping where um, Gordon's putting together uh, enforcement. Finally, someone's doing a, a seminar on enforcement. Mm. So there'll be an enforcement seminar coming up soon. I'm helping him put that together. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Great. Will that be a live event or is that like a telephone type of thing? Or... That's going to be another seminar. you got to be in Chicago to do it. I think it's going to be like in a few months, about late, mid-November or something like that. Great. Is that Gordon and Jack? Um, I don't know. Okay. Probably Jack will be along somewhere, but you know, I, I definitely know it's Gordon, so... Okay, cool. Okay, so about that today. Great. Okay, so great. Okay, Kurt. Well, that, I think that was a great introduction to some of the trust concepts. Like that was pretty rapid fire. So that was really cool. Um, so you got like pages, pages. <laughs> yeah. This bit basic. You know, we could go deep into trust, but it goes back to that question I asked. How much do you really need to know? Hmm. You just need to know enough, and that's why. I, I, you know, as a board of trustees, we actually try to set, we set up real trust hmm. and to try to use that asset protection, just kind of just get things out so we don't have to worry about doing, worrying about certain things. Hmm. But, you know, they work and they don't worry. It all depends on what your goals are. And hmm. one of our first, the first call we ever had for the Wednesday call was about goals. We can't really determine anything until we know what your goals are. Hmm. So I have my goals when I have the, the like the teaching class, the class, the um, training program. And when we're trying to resolve remedies for people, but other people have other goals. I had some people that just said, I just want to buy time. They don't really care about that. I just want to buy time to do it another way. Hmm. All right. That's what you want to do. So we can do that. Hmm. So what is the goal of something for us to figure out what plan we're going to execute, which is you no know, basic, you know, potential, human potential and goal setting and all the other stuff, which also we teach, but because it's more important to understand the principle than the technique. So we got the goals and figure out what is the goal of learning all this trust stuff and how much do we really need to know just to get our remedy? Because I personally believe most people just want remedy and they say they want to learn how to do the stuff so they can take care of it, but their actions show otherwise. So hmm. I just say, give them enough. And if they want to know more, they'll ask for it. Hmm. So I have a, even though I have like four pages of notes here, it's enough on the surface so you can understand what's going on. And if you're not going to get into making your own trust, then it's too much information. Right. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, I think that's enough for an intro. So thanks. Thanks for giving us that. And then hopefully people are come and join you on your conference call. And, uh, and then uh, perhaps we'll do another video soon and cover some different areas or something. Yeah, we'll get a little deeper into it and cover the types of trust. Like I'll, I'll get the list of the types of trust and you start to understand that. Each one has its own elements and the way it is structured, and that's why it's called that type of trust. And the different types of trustees, I think it's about four or five types of trustees. Right. And it just, it just all types of stuff that's going on there. But some of it is just strictly dealing with trust, and some of it is more relevant to helping us get remedy and understanding what elements could be going on in trust. So right. we always have to divide, and I'll try to always make a clear line of, this is more dealing with trust. You won't usually deal with this when you're dealing with remedy, and this will help you with the remedy. Right, okay, cool. Okay, we'll come back on that then.